chance is Snorri! Snorri, yay! Yeah. There's too much light! My blessed mess forsaken! These fairy tales must be strictly flying a life in a stream of room. Leak, I'll craft them dark, make them grim. That's my hallmark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their prissy cuteness never fails to make me puke. To lose my wits, to my teeth and give me fits. So the rancid, stale and foul despise the happy ending. Gross and nasty make me howl. I hear the raging tales of night, of fear and woe, bring back the light. I aim down the door of tuck, my humble goal is to run. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone, I am the Vampy Nico, and we are going to be playing a game called Grim. This is an episodic game series, and we're going to see how well the first episode is, and maybe I'll do more. So, let's go, shall we? A post-adolescent boy who doesn't know what fear is may be presumed uninformed of other basic emotions. He may be, in short, a dunce and not worth our notice. But here's an account of such ignorance that makes the boy out to be interesting and nearly clever, if lazy. Father, I've heard some talk of fear. Fear of God, of disease, and of death. Fear of the dark? A schoolmate said he was afraid of girls. What is this fear? The smithy is so tranquil and secure, I don't know myself. You'll have to leave home to learn what fear is. Some criminals are being hung at the gallows. You might learn about fear from them. We can't be surprised at the boy's loopy innocence, as the father seems less than a bright light. It's so unfair. Sure we roughed up a priest who deserved it. Insulted some nuns, banged a few heads for fun. But we never stole that stupid bell. It's worthless. We're not morons, are we? So you were unjustly convicted of theft? Is that fear? No, that's wrong. Now we'll die for something we didn't do. Are you do. afraid of dying? Don't know yet. Being half dead isn't half bad. The boy gets no help from these mopes. He might as well have interviewed drying laundry. The boy stops by a schoolyard, where he helps solve the crime. Look, here's the bell! It wasn't stolen after all! Those men were innocent! Never! They were certainly guilty of something, and have met their just reward. As for the bell, it was purloined from my office, and concealed in a sandbox to be retrieved at a later date, with the intention of removing it from school premises for illicit purposes, or profit, or both. The malefactor must be punished. Who would steal a stupid bell? A mischievous, evil, unredeemable, dirty-minded pupil like you. That's who. And as I'm certain you won't confess, all students will share the blame. Get in line for a whipping. That's not fair. Besides, it's clear who touched the bell last. Him. That man is an adult. A teacher. You lying little savage. Get in line for a whipping. Look, the brass bell is tarnished and the green stuff has rubbed off on the teacher's hands. I confess, I always wanted a big brass bell of my very own to love and protect and fondle. I don't know why, I'm sorry. So the search continues. His ignorance is unimproved. Can no one and nothing teach this boy what fear is? He takes a peculiar job with the local royal. If you can spend the entire night among these dreadful, ugly ghouls and ghosts, they will leave my castle and family forever. Many others have tried and failed. 
fearing for their lives. Stay the course, and you can marry my daughter. Will I learn what fear is? Guaranteed. Oh no, King. Even you in your majestic wisdom can err. I think we know where this is heading. Nothing frightens the boy. Or not so he'll admit it. Ah, another happy wedding. Now I think I know what fear is. A deafening sudden noise is shocking, certainly. And when one evacuates one's bowels on being shocked, he may mistake the cause as fear. So the boy, to my mind, never did learn what fear was. Title's kind of a misnomer. But it has a more sensible outcome than the brother's tale, where the lad supposedly learns about fear by learning to shudder. His wife dumps cold water down his pants while he's sleeping. Where's the fun in that? Want to learn more about real fear? Play on. When a father, thick as a brick, sends his son away to learn about fear, we're right to be skeptical. What can he know about fear and where to find it? True, there's nothing scary close to home. Looks like a child's playpen. Let's fix that, shall we? Make it smelly. Okay, we'll make it smelly. Let's move! <laughs> Everything I touch turns gross. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. Making it dirty, making it gross. Ew. Spiders? Guys. Haha. <laughs> oh, did I even do the first one? Uh. Get it. Uh. Ew, it's a dirty chicken. Mm. Oh! I'm cleaning it. I'm cleaning my beautiful mess. But good. How do I do this? <laughs> How am I supposed to? Rump and stump. I don't know how to do that. How do I? How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Uh, and stomp. There we go. I got it. Make it loose. Okay. Got this. <laughs> I don't like it. Ooh, it's me. I need to quit cleaning up my mess. Oh, uh, it's me. Oh, cool. You quit it. Stop it! Ah. Okay. Stop it! <laughs> 
Time to get stuck this time. <laughs> Everything is dark and gross. Lovely. They keep cleaning everything. How dare they? Don't delay, but stop away. Get the hang of it. Would you quit? Thank you. Beautiful. 
grins rot now ah uh, yeah this is looking a lot better yeah I should probably be on one I should probably have my own wait yeah I should have my own home renovation shows. I die. Whatever. There's still some stuff over here I gotta make gross. The pastels must die. Die, pastels, die. Pastel. The last part right here. Okay, got it. Ha! <laughs> neat. It's a little whale thing. Yeah, gotta get over here. Ooh. And this theme is a cockroach on toast. Cockroach on toast? Ew. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Mm, I don't want to get burnt. And I got burnt. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's not good. Ah! Not in a good way. I can't it in. Not in a good way. Okay. There we go. Grim's disgust. What? Stomp it now. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastels go away. Stomp it! I thought I did. Oh, yeah. Did I do it yet? I did. I. What, you want me to jump on him? I did it! Quit. Ah! There we go! Oh! Punched him!
Did we win? Oh, okay, I guess we did it. We got one secret. Apparently there's things. I could have got another one. Okay. Onward.